Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I wanted to do a get ready with me and try a new Revlon foundation. It's their Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. It has 5% squalane and hyaluronic acid squalane. I had to think about that one for a second, but yeah, it's supposed to be really hydrating. It says makeup and skincare in one, medium coverage, natural finish, reduces the appearance of wrinkles over time deeply hydrate skin. I personally have dry skin, so this sounds like something that would be right up my alley, and I have shade 309 right here. The reason why I bought this is because somebody asked me if I tried the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup, and I purchased it in normal to dry skin, and I've been using it for a bit, and my overall thoughts on this is I do like it. It also has SPF 20 in it. It is a lot more liquid than the Illuminance one and I would say this one has more of like a very natural sheared out skin like finish because I did try both of them so this is not going to be a first impressions but yeah I'm just going to do my makeup how I normally do and kind of do a video review and wear test featuring the new Revlon Illuminance foundation here. I got mine on Amazon you should be good buying makeup skincare whatever on Amazon so long as it says sold by not fulfilled but the sold by portion it has to say sold by amazon.com because Revlon, L'Oreal, Lancome uh, a lot of brands do have legitimate storefronts on Amazon. You just got to make sure, even if you sometimes click on a product in their storefront, it might be there, but it might be sold by like a third-party seller. Because I have purchased some products that were sold by third-party sellers, and while they were fine, uh, I just wanted to point that out. Just be careful. I already wa I washed my hair, which is why it's in this hair wrap towel here, so I'm going to be kind of doing like a... A whole get ready with me. This product I'm going to start off with is the Revlon Rose Glow Primer here. And I have come to really, really like this product. It is an illuminating primer of sorts. I already used quite a bit of it up. And as you can tell, it has these little beads in it. And basically what they are are oil beads. You're supposed to place a few drops in your palms and rub it together. And then the oil beads are supposed to melt. I have found that the oil beads don't really melt down. They don't like disintegrate well so they kind of remain on the skin like I really tried to rub them in so what I do is just flick them off honestly but the primer itself I think is such a nice product I'm not crazy for rose rosy type scents this one's not bad at all it's actually pretty pleasant and it offers a nice subtle glow but best of all it kind of hydrates the skin and also gives the skin a little bit of a grip because this is a primer so I would say it actually functions really well and i don't know i've just been really liking it i was kind of very pleasantly surprised i didn't think i'd like it as much as i do it doesn't pill under my makeup or anything like that i don't know i just think it's a really good product and i think it's affordable as well but do you guys see those little beads right there i have one right here and then i have one right here they don't really i don't know they don't like melt down i don't know what they're made out of i mean if you really 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 rub them together are they kind of yeah you have to like really really rub them in for them to disintegrate or like dissolve. I just kind of like pick them off if there are any left over on my face, but the primer itself leaves the skin looking healthy, like not too glowy or greasy or anything like that. And also leaves your skin with a little bit of grip. So I've just been really, really liking it. All right, now I'm gonna go right into the foundation. And again, I have mine in shade 309. And I'm gonna be using this sponge here. This is the Tools Face Sponge. I bought it after SMLXO on Instagram shared it to her stories. This is such a cool sponge. It's basically like an all-in-one. The way that she described it in her Instagram stories was as if your fingers and a beauty blender had a baby and I couldn't agree more because it has this flat tip here which goes really thin at the top so when you're blending out your makeup in the inner corner it literally feels like you're using your finger it's just such a good sponge and you can use the flat side for foundation which is what I'm gonna do this foundation might not be the right shade I've kind of been spending a lot of time in the Sun and just hanging out so this might not be the best shade match but we can make it work with some bronzer and stuff like that will make it work. The formula is not very liquid. It's like a typical creamy foundation formula. Let me just show a dribble of the other one. The Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup. I'm going to place a dot on my hand here. And you'll be able to see it automatically starts to drip. This one definitely has more of a liquid formula. And because of that, I feel like it's a lot more sheer. Whereas this one right here it doesn't dribble as much like it's not as liquid i don't know if that makes sense all right now i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out if you use a sponge it's going to be a lot more sheer than if you were to use a brush but i have been really liking this sponge 
and for the summertime I feel like using a sponge is just really nice because it makes for a very skin like natural finish almost undetectable kind of like that no makeup makeup look of sorts here's an up close of the finish my skin looks very healthy glowy that could be a little bit because of the primer as well but my skin still looks like skin um, I would say it's probably light medium coverage more than medium full coverage and it does give you that no makeup makeup look which is what I'm looking for especially for my skin type I like more of a light medium coverage foundation and I like my foundation and overall my makeup in general to look very natural if you will kind of skin like so it doesn't look heavy like I'm not too crazy about heavy foundation so if you're like me then you probably will really like this foundation and I'm going to do a wear test as well because foundation always looks great when you first put it on the main thing is how does it wear and then I'm going to go into concealer I have this color stay skin awaken concealer with caffeine and vitamin c and this is a correcting shade so I'm just going to use a little bit of this in the inner corner because I do have a little bit of blueness in the inner corner so I have their shade 001 which is their yellow shade I think they have a pink one as well I'm gonna apply a little bit to the eyelids as well because I like you could really see all the veining on my eyelids they're very like translucent my skin is very translucent there but I want to apply a little bit and I'm actually going to use this concealer brush to blend that into the skin because a concealer brush will give me more coverage than a sponge and then I'm going to go in with my all-time favorite concealer which is the NYX bear with me I absolutely love this I initially bought it like a year ago or so because brandify the brandify app said it was similar to the Kosas one which I do have the Kosas one and I feel like they have similarities but they're kind of different this one I have in shade vanilla and this concealer is absolutely amazing if you have dry under eyes or dry skin or maybe even if you have normal skin I feel like you will love this it has a very nice ceramy formula and it blends out so well I would say it also offers like light medium coverage but it also sits on the skin beautifully it also wears beautifully throughout the day it's just such a good foundation in my opinion foundation concealer and I'm going to use the sponge again to blow it out blow it out I'm going to use a sponge to blend this out and then use that tip for the inner corner and again the sponge is just so cool because it literally feels like you are using your finger to blend it out but this blends it out so beautifully they did a really really good job with the design in my opinion but do you see the concealer it kind of brightened a little bit just a little bit of concealer it blends out beautifully it doesn't it's not like thick it's very ceramy and hydrating and just blends out like a dream and sits really nicely on the skin i don't know i love 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 that foundation the concealer would highly recommend it and then i'm going to use the elf halo glow beauty wands right here to do contour blush and highlight i did a video reviewing these um and i do like them i think they're really cool i like the light i have the light medium shade in the contour Ooh, I feel like I did a little bit too much. I do this all the time. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm just going to slap that right on and the next thing I know. But I am going to be using a sponge to blend it out. Again, the sponge you can literally use for everything. And I feel like the sponge really soaks up quite a bit of product. So you can get away with using more than you usually do. But again, like, look at how beautiful it blends everything out. It's just, the sponge is amazing. I mean, it obviously matters what products you're using. But... It's just such a great product, such a great sponge. I'm going to apply a little bit of the blush. Not too much, just a bit. I feel like this blush is probably my least favorite product from the e.l.f. sticks. It's beautiful, but I feel like it really, like, wherever you apply it, it kind of sticks in those areas. Like, it's a lot harder to blend out than the contour or the highlight. Like, I feel like it takes a lot more effort. I can still see those little circles that I made and this is me blending it out right away so I feel like the blush is probably my least favorite in terms of how it blends out because the color is gorgeous the rosé you slay but how it blends out I feel like you have to like really work to blend it out all right now I'm gonna do the highlight and the highlight I have in champagne campaign and I'm just gonna do this where I usually highlight I'll do a little bit in the inner corner the tops of the cheekbones and then a little bit on the nose oh wow that is that is bringing me back to like 2014 that is an intense <laughs> now i'm gonna go in with the elf halo glow setting powder love this powder it's affordable it doesn't really mattify the look it leaves like a bit of a sheen to the look but i like to start off 
around the cheeks and then with whatever's left over I'll bring it up because I don't want to add too much powder to my under eye area and then kind of go over the forehead and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to use a brush to kind of wipe away the excess powder. Here's the finished makeup look here. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I think the foundation is really, really nice. And the best part is that it is super affordable, which I feel like everybody loves an affordable foundation. Um, I am going to do a wear test again, but overall I think my makeup is looking really nice. Like it's not looking patchy, splotchy, it's not settling into fine lines. It's not emphasizing anything that I don't want it to emphasize. It's just overall a really nice formula. It's really light. Like it's not heavy, it looks very natural. I am going to do a wear test, so I'm going to do my hair, go about my day, and then check in once or twice throughout the day to show you guys how this foundation is doing. I wanted to do a first check-in. It's only been a few hours. It's almost, it's a little past 4.30. So it's only been a few hours since I put the foundation on because I, did, I didn't put it on early on in the morning. But it's still looking really good. I did kind of pick up, pick at my skin here a little bit. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. I do have fine lines and I feel like certain foundations, certain formulas can settle into my fine lines throughout the day. This one I feel like is sitting really nicely on the skin. Like my skin seems hydrated. It doesn't seem... Like it, the foundation's not like sucking the life out of my skin. I feel like it's adding life to my skin. So if you have dry skin, you'll probably like this formula, especially if you're dealing with fine lines or anything like that, because it seems to be really hydrating the skin. So, so far so good. I think I'll do one last check-in right before I go ahead and take off my makeup for the day. All right, you guys, this is going to be my final check-in. I think it's like 10 o'clock around there. I didn't bring my phone to show you guys, but everybody's sleeping, so I'm trying to be a little quiet. And I'm going to go ahead and take off my makeup now, but before I do that, I wanted to do a final check-in. Overall, I am very happy with how this has worn throughout the day. There are certain areas where I feel it kind of rubbed off, maybe. I don't know, maybe I was like rubbing my nose, like for example, my nose. Um, it looks like I have no makeup on my nose. Overall, it doesn't look like it's not breaking up. It's not really settling into fine lines. My skin it looks really healthy and skin-like. I would just say this foundation is not going to give you full coverage. I would say at best it's like light medium coverage. It's buildable, natural finish just as it says on the description. Um, overall I'm really happy with it but this is just my skin. Keep in mind you might have a different experience with it. I have dry skin once again so products like this for me I really like. I would say it's worth a try especially at the price point. I think it's it wore really well throughout the day and this is through working out i did a like a full body workout today where i was sweating so this withstood that and just kind of like frolicking throughout the day overall i feel like it looks really great my skin looks great and i'm really happy with it so i would recommend it this is my personal review once again but i would go ahead and try it out i'll link it down below for you guys to shop hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in future videos